in this, our fourth question in our first problem set for Graf Stoich, it says, what mass of iron will combine with sufficient oxygen to yield 16.0 grams of iron three oxide? So iron three oxide is this formula. I've organized that I know 16 grams of that, and this is its molar mass. Now this is an unbalanced reaction, so I'll put a two here and a three here to balance my oxygens, then I get four irons. So ultimately, what they want me to find is the mass of iron. But I know that there are 16.0 gram of iron three oxide. So I can get rid of the gram and be left with mole or chemical amount if I use the molar mass of the iron. So this is to find the N of the Fe2O3, iron three oxide. And then I'm gonna find the N of Fe. And so I put Fe2O3, iron three oxide, in the denominator and iron in the numerator because I want to find iron and I had this to start off with. So two iron three oxides for four irons and then I'm going to get rid of the mole of iron three or iron and be left with gram. And so iron has 55.85 gram for one mole. And so this is going to end up giving me the mass of iron. And so if I put this into my calculator, I get 16 times 1 divided by 159.7 times 4 divided by 2 times 55.85 divided by 1. And I end up getting 11.2 gram of iron. And so my grams are canceled out, then my moles will cancel out and it leaves me with grams at the end. So all Gravstoit questions follow this basic pattern where they tell you an amount of something and they want you to find an amount of something else. And so you start with what you know, convert it into mole, figure out what the mole of the thing you want is, and then find the other value.